we were out the first morning after we put the jug lines in, and so we're going to go out in the boat and check and see if we have any fish again. We caught three last night, the first few hours, and so we want to go see if we have anything else. We're going to pull on the line to move it a little bit to see maybe if there's a fish on some of the jugs that they'll go ahead and wiggle it and we'll know where to go to. Now I don't see anything moving but we're going to go check and rebait if the bait's gone. I guess we're taking Molly with us this time. Hopefully she doesn't end up in the water. She has before, only once, I think. I have my two fishing buddies, my wife and my dog. Last I looked, it was, what, 39 degrees this morning? Mm -hmm. So it's a pretty cool start to go out in the boat. I still, over there, can't see any movement of any of those jugs. But we'll go check them all. Like I said earlier, I, I think that catfish are really quite smart creatures. And I think that they can communicate with each other. <laughs> Sun's bright, and so I don't know how well a, a jug line works like this for a long period of time, but we're going to give it a try and see what happens. Nothing on there, no bait either, so I'm going to have to start baiting hooks. We're going out to check our jug line and I think this might be the fourth day and we've been pleased with the results. We caught quite a lot of fish. But we're going to go out and we're going to try to show you what we have this morning, if we have anything. One day we had seven fish on ten jug lines. That was the first night. We haven't had quite that good since but we still have caught quite a lot of fish we check it twice a day and rebate where needed it's 38 chilly foggy morning but it's clear and beautiful so we're going out and get our fingers cold in the water You want to go, Molly? <laughs> Come here, Molly. Come on, Captain. You want in? There you go, Captain. Hold on to her, because I'm. whenever I get in, it's going to juggle things. And there's our cat entourage.
See how that jug right there is bobbling around? That means there is a fish on there. And it looks like there's a fish on the next one too. Feels like it's a pretty good fish. Oh, and we forgot the net. Oh gosh, that's really hard to deal with. <laughs> okay, he's got his mouth open, so let me see if I can get this Rapala thing in there, but they kind of like to close their mouth if they think you're, if you're after them. So you don't know if you've washed your hands or not. I don't know. I'm gonna have to take him, take him in hand, I guess. But that's always kind of scary. He's a nice one. I think he could be the nicest one we've caught. Fishy, open your mouth. Hmm. I don't know. If anybody knows how to make them open their mouth, tell me. <laughs> I don't know how. Stick your finger in it, that's how. But he'll bite me. I know he'll, they bite. Well, let me see, I've got a good, I've got a good grip on him, so let me see if I can just get the hook out. He's at least two pounds, I think. We've got these fish wells at the back, and so that works pretty good. Now I've got to get the hook baited. When we first did this, we were just using one pellet per hook. But we've, or I guess I'll say I have, ooh boy, these things are kind of cold though. We left them out in the boat all night. But now I'm using two and mashing them together and it makes a bigger wad and I think it, I've heard that the fish the catfish can actually see the the hook if some of the hook is showing and so I'm trying to cover up the hook as best I can and I think it's working pretty good so I've got this baited so just put it back in and we'll go on to the next fish I think there's a pretty good one on here, too. It's not, it's not as big as the other one for sure, but I'm not going to throw it back. See if I can get this in his mouth. Yep, I did. This Rapala thing has really been a good deal because these fish are kind of dangerous to handle because they're so pokey. Their fins have horrible spikes in them that they want to attack you with. It's, it's their defense and you know, I don't blame them, but I just as soon not get stuck. We'll get this guy in the holding place next. I'm taking pictures of your butt. Okay, let's see. <laughs> she knows there are fish in there. 